A crawfish boil to benefit a Hastings High School student who was hit by a cafeteria worker who authorities say was speeding. That benefit held today. Now, this accident happened back in October. We're told that worker had just left the ninth grade center in her vehicle. Investigators say she was swerving to miss one student, but it ended up hitting another, 18-year-old Anthony Velasquez. He was taken to the hospital with a skull fracture. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon reports on the efforts to raise money for his medical expenses. As you can see, it is all hands on deck. All of these people here are excited for this crawfish, and this is all to help a student in need. Here, there is no shortage of love and togetherness. Kids, teachers, administrators, the community has all come out. All because of one very special student, 18-year-old Anthony Velasquez, an Aleaf Hastings senior, was hit by a car in the fall by a cafeteria worker who investigators say was driving recklessly. The accident left Velasquez in critical condition. He's since fought to recover. It's been a tough journey, no doubt, um, but we knew with faith and prayer and just the community coming together in the school um, and supporting his family through a tough time and um, it's been nothing but blessings upon blessings and he'll be here today. Here at a school plan crawfish boil fundraiser to help Anthony's family with medical expenses. Tony Fontenot and his team donated their time and food. When I first heard about it, it was gut richen and this is something we had to do. Among several others, businesses, and of course, students. We're all together, and whatever happens, it affects all of us. He's not alone. They hope to encourage. Still hoping the best for him. Stay positive, uh, do everything that's asked of you, uh, work hard. For Anthony, this meant the world. I feel like better being here. Anthony says he's inspired. To never give up and uh, and go to church. Ultimately, this whole community wants the family to know they are not alone. In Aleaf, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.